YouTube channel CBS News. Los Angeles to cut water and power to homes hosting large gatherings amid pandemic. Okay, well... What the fuck? Every individual has the right to their own life. That's the unalienable right. The very first one mentioned in the Declaration of Independence or Governor is that beyond your pay grade. If people want to endanger their lives, that is their personal prerogative. That's their civil liberty. That is their unalienable right to choose how they live their lives. Virus or no, pandemic or no, what you're doing is high treason. There's no other way of saying it. You're, you're fucking power drunk, power hungry, mad with power, power sick. Dude, shut your fucking mouth, governor. You, let people do whatever the fuck they want. Because <laughs> you're just making your city uh, a target for your own community there to rise up against you and start riots there. That, that's all you're sparking. Because the whole world is a fucking powder keg right now. And instead of being so disillusioned from reality, instead of being so completely disjointed from reality, so out of touch, you know, with the, the basics of people's lives, focus on not controlling others. Because that's what a slaver does. That's not what a leader does. That's not what a family member does. I don't know how your family, your daddy or your mommy, or, you know, maybe you were a fucking orphan growing up on the street. I don't know how you were fucking raised, governor. But what you're doing is taking things way too fucking far. You need to retract that before it gets out of hand. Because, holy fucking shit, you're inviting anarchy and riots in your neighborhood with what you just posted, what you said. What you're dealing with is some serious shit, Governor. You, you better stop. Because... <laughs> When the rioting breaks out in L.A., I'm just going to laugh. Because they'll come for you. The people you're shitting and pissing on by being a little bitch right now, they will come for you. So you better fucking stop. Or hey, Donnie boy, uh, Trump card, hey, go over there and pimp slap this fucking bitch. Okay? Somebody... Knock some fucking sense into this fuckhead with a ball peen hammer or a baseball bat if you have to. But seriously. And for everybody else, let people be people. Let let people do themselves. If they want to be fucking idiots, let them be fucking idiots. If if they want to stay home and be cloistered, let them stay home and be cloistered. Because all these bullshit regulations, abuse of power, abuse and misuse of the, the fallacy of power you think you have, people aren't going to obey you if you keep being a bitch. I don't know what else to say. I don't think there is anything else to say. I'm just fucking... 
floored. <laughs> shocked. I'm actually shocked that someone in a suit and tie would stand up in front of everyone and say, oh yeah, if you have a party, if you exercise your unalienable right to live your own life however you see fit, yeah, regardless of the situation, yeah, that it don't fucking fly, man. Oh, I take that back. You're not worth calling a man slave drivers because you're not leading you're not setting an example you're not being a fucking human you're being a bitch that's all there is to say about it so stop being a bitch let people do what people do I mean I'm I'm just shocked. I mean, there's like five other ways I can think of right here, right now that you can go about doing stuff. Seriously. I mean, Governor, do you not know the the chemistry of the situation? I'm not talking about the social and political bullshit. I'm talking about literal chemistry. About uh, sanitization I mean, come on, dude. Instead of wasting people's time standing there saying shit like that. Have, have fucking, uh, have somebody go in and get uh, sanitation equipment and chemicals if you fucking have to. and fucking clean up behind themselves. Ask people to fucking use disinfectant on everything they touch. Maybe not everything. You really don't want to use disinfectant on your kids now, do you? But instead of standing there making yourself look like a complete piece of shit Clean stuff, man. Just fucking clean it. With the appropriate sanitization gear, equipment, chemicals, you can clean things, man. That'll help a lot. So why don't you put on a maid outfit and go clean shit, okay? Show people, hey, I give a fuck, so I'm gonna help disinfect so that it inhibits the spread of this damn thing instead of being a fucking bitch cause that's my fucking shtick okay if being a bitch is my shtick stay the fuck out of it I don't know what else to fucking say man I gave two ideas out of the five that I could have thought of. Now, let someone else think of some ideas that you can do to earn being a leader because it's. Politics is bullshit. It's, it's not being a leader. And everyone's on edge. It's a fucking powder keg, man. Uh, not man, bitch. Governor bitch of L.A. The world's a fucking powder keg right now. And all you're doing is banging two pieces of flint together. And eventually, you keep banging those rocks together enough, you're going to get a spark. And it's all going to go poof in your face. And the people you're pissing off in Los Angeles they'll come for you because people can only take so much despite popular belief the mind can't take infinite stress oh and just another stab at Vittable 
you little bitch. It's not about how much you can take and keep going. It's about how much of a fuck you give about your fellow living being. That's what makes a man a man. It's also what makes a woman a woman. It's what makes you honorable. So, you know, all of you, just keep being bitches and you'll ignite that powder keg you're sitting on. Well, that's the end of this rant. Now, I'm not offended by what this bitch is saying. I'm shocked. Because leaders don't do that. That's not leader. That's bitch. That's slave driver. And you're not in my bedroom, so fuck off. <laughs>